In this video, we're going to be looking at this equation here, which links the number of moles of an aqueous substance to its concentration and its volume. And you need to remember that we measure volume in decimeters cubed and concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, which we normally write as mole, so M-O-L, and then a slash decimeters cubed, because this forward slash means per. You might also sometimes see the formula written like this, with N for moles, C for concentration, and V for volume. So if we had 800 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide at a concentration of 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed, then to find out how many moles we had in total, we would just divide our volume by 1000 to make it 0.8 decimeters cubed, and then do volume times concentration. So 0.8 times 0.2, which gives us 0.16 moles. Or for another one, let's imagine that we have 1.5 decimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. And we're told that it contains 0.6 moles of hydrochloric acid. What must the concentration be? Well, if we look at our equation, concentration is moles divided by volume. And as they're both already in the right units, we just do 0.6 divided by 1.5, which gives us a concentration of 0.4 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, a more complicated scenario is when we're given an equation like this one here, and we're asked to find an unknown concentration or volume. For example, if we knew that 30 centimeters cubed of 0.5 mole per decimeter cubed potassium hydroxide reacted completely with 25 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid, we should be able to work out the concentration of the sulfuric acid. Before we do anything else though, it's worth writing out clearly what we already know from the question. For the potassium hydroxide, its volume is 30 centimeters cubed, and its concentration is 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. And for the sulfuric acid, we know its volume is 25 centimeters cubed. Then because this is a chemistry calculation, we know that we're gonna need all of our volumes in decimeters cubed and not centimeters cubed. So we divide 30 by 1000 to get 0.03 decimeters cubed, and 25 by 1000 to get 0.025 decimeters cubed. Now, the basic idea with all of these types of questions is first to work out how many moles of the known substance we have, then second, use the molar ratio to work out how many moles of the unknown substance we have. And finally, use that number of moles to work out the concentration of the unknown substance. So our first step is to calculate how many moles of potassium hydroxide we have, which we can do by multiplying its concentration by its volume. So we do 0.5 times 0.03 meaning we have 0.015 moles of potassium hydroxide. Then for our second step, we need to find the molar ratio between potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid, which we can do by looking at the numbers in front of each of them. And remember that if there isn't a number before the substance, like for the sulfuric acid, then we just read it as a one. So the molar ratio here is 2 to 1, which just means that for every 2 moles of potassium hydroxide, we'll have 1 mole of sulfuric acid. So because we just worked out that we have 0.015 moles of potassium hydroxide, we're going to have to divide that by 2 to find out how many moles of sulfuric acid it reacted with giving us 0.0075 moles of sulfuric acid. 
And finally, we can move on to our third step, which is where we actually calculate the concentration using the number of moles that we just found and the volume that we were given in the question, which remember we converted here to 0.025 decimeters cubed. So we take our 0.0075 moles of sulfuric acid and divide it by the volume of 0.025, which tells us that the concentration of sulfuric acid is 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed. And that is our final answer to the question. Anyways, that's everything for this video. So I hope that all made sense. And we'll see you again soon.